Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video on how to treat a vaginal yeast infection. This video is part of a video series on sexual problems and for those of you interested, check out the playlist in the description. Before we start, I will quickly introduce myself. My name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer, because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions which is the whole point of this channel. This video also comes with a quick disclaimer. It's meant purely informative. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. And now quickly, let's get started. So in this video, we will cover the treatments for a vaginal yeast infection. But before we do so, I thought it would be important to explain you a thing or two on how a vaginal yeast infection is actually caused. A vaginal yeast infection, also called candidiasis or vaginal thrush, is caused by candida. Candida is a species of yeast which is normally presented in your vagina in small numbers. However, there are several factors, several reasons that can lead to an excessive growth of this candida. Among which, the use of antibiotics, pregnancy, diabetes, being HIV positive, a high carb diet and poor personal hygiene. And when dealing with a vaginal yeast infection, it can cause some annoying symptoms irritation, severe itching, a burning sensation while peeing, a thick white vaginal discharge without smell, pain during sex and redness around your vagina. And these symptoms typically worsen during your period. And here it's important to note that candidiasis is very common. About 20% of all women get an infection yearly and about 75% of them get an infection at least once in a lifetime. And lastly, a vaginal yeast infection can be diagnosed by testing the vaginal discharge. Which brings us to the only question you actually wanted to have answered. How can you treat a vaginal yeast infection? First, we start off with some lifestyle interventions, which lay people often recommend to each other. Although it's important to note here that there is no medical evidence for any of these. People often recommend each other to wear loose fitting clothing as well as cotton underwear. The idea here is that synthetic underwear as well as tight clothing will cause your genitals to be more sweaty, thereby enabling the yeast to grow faster. Next up, it's advised to prevent using a vaginal douche, as well as avoid the use of scented hygienal products for your genitals. Both can irritate your skin, thereby increasing your risk for yeast infection. And if you do experience any of the previously mentioned symptoms, it would be advised to contact your doctor for a medical examination to rule out any other infections. Then when you do know you indeed have a vaginal yeast infection, he could prescribe you an antifungal medicine. Now in some countries you can only buy antifungal medicine on prescription, but in most countries you can buy them without. Antifungal medicine comes in the form of creams, tablets, ointments or suppositories which you can insert into your vagina. I will be making a video on most of these in the future, which might be a good reason for you to subscribe now so you don't miss these videos. Next up, it's important to note that if you have more than four vaginal yeast infections a year, or when your vaginal yeast infection does not improve when using over-the-counter medication, you may need to contact your doctor who might prescribe you a regular dose of antifungal medicine for up to six months. Lastly, I just want to mention that there is no medical evidence for the usage of probiotics in the treatment or the prevention of a vaginal yeast infection. Now, I hope you know now how to treat a vaginal yeast infection, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And for those of you who want to keep on learning, who want to keep on educating yourself, please check out the playlist in the description. Now, all that's rest me is to thank my sponsors on Patreon. Thank you, Sebastian, who's an investor to your supporter, and thank all of you for watching this video. Please, if you did enjoy it, leave a like. This will help out the channel tremendously, and consider subscribing. I'm trying to reach 20,000 subscribers, and you could help me. Oh yeah, and before you go, I recently made a new Instagram account at How to Medicate, and I'm posting pretty much daily. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye. <laughs>